Hello athlete leaders! Today we're going to talk about taking photos and videos. This is a great skill to have as it can help you connect with family and friends, remember special moments, and even help you professionally. So let's get started. Thinking about your day, how much time do you spend looking at pictures and videos? It's probably a lot, particularly if you like watching TV or movies. But more and more, we're looking at pictures and videos created by everyday people whether it's on YouTube or social media. So let's explore the world of taking pictures and videos, get in on the fun, and learn a useful skill. On the agenda today, we're going to go over how to be prepared so that when you're taking photos, you can be in the zone. Then we'll talk about what to think about while you're taking photos or videos. Next, we'll cover why it's important to review your photos. Then we'll talk about some tips to get you practicing your skill as much as you can. And lastly, for anyone that's camera shy, we'll talk about how to act naturally in front of a camera. If you have a phone or camera available, you can take it out now and follow along. Maybe try some of the things that we mentioned while we go through the presentation. You can always pause the presentation to explore. Preparing is very important for making sure that taking pictures goes smoothly. There's nothing like having the perfect shot lined up only for something to go wrong. So let's go over what you should do to get ready to take pictures. The first thing to think about is what do you want to shoot? It could be a picture of people either posing or moving around, maybe some objects, scenery, and it could be indoors or outdoors. Maybe you just want to explore something around you and take pictures of anything you think looks nice. Whatever it is, make a plan for what you want to shoot so that you can be prepared. The next step is to make sure your device is going to work. Before you start, it's a good idea to check that the battery is fully charged, that the lens is clean, and if you're taking videos, that the microphone is picking up sound. You can try taking a short test video to make sure that your image is clear. If it's not, try gently wiping the lens with a microfiber cloth. Also, check if the sound quality is good and test how loudly you'll need to speak. If you or someone else is going to be in the shot, 
do a quick check to make sure that their hair and clothes are good to go. Is there a stain or is their shirt wrinkly? Is their hair in place? It's best to check this over now so that you don't have to reshoot after reviewing your pictures. Lastly, make sure that your surroundings are appropriate. Make sure your background isn't too cluttered and maybe clean up a bit. If you're taking a video, is there any noise that's going on in the background that your microphone might pick up? Is it really windy? If so, try to find a way to minimize the noise. Try to avoid anything in the background that will distract from your main focus. Check out this picture of a bunny. Wouldn't it be much cuter without the clutter in the background? Once you've done these quick checks, we'll be ready to shoot without interruption. Let's make a quick checklist of things to prepare. You can take a picture or a screenshot of this checklist for later, or write it out on a piece of paper. After this quick check, you'll be good to go. Now let's go over some of the things that you should consider while taking photos. First, think about the shot that you want to take. Do you want a close-up of an object? Do you want a faraway shot of a pretty landscape? Decide how close to an object you should get to take a good photo. If you're photographing people, do you want the main shot to be someone's face or a full body shot? To frame your picture, you should move around to get the right angle and distance from your object. If you're using a digital camera, you can also use zoom, but only use zoom after you've gotten as close as you can by moving. Getting a focus shot can be tricky. Try holding your camera or phone as steady as you can. If you're using a phone, click on the part of the picture that you want to focus. A yellow square should pop up and your phone will focus in on whatever you clicked. Another thing to think about with your photos are your angles. When taking photos of people or yourself, try not to shoot from below. Try to shoot from eye level or slightly above. If you're using a webcam on a laptop, 
you can use books to prop up the laptop so that it's at eye level. Make sure that you're looking into the lens to maintain eye contact. The most important thing to remember when you're taking photos is to smile and be yourself. Make sure that you or your subjects are natural, being themselves, and are having fun. This is the best way to get great photos. Here's a couple challenges for you to try. Try them now if you have a phone handy. First, try taking the same photo from two different angles. Which one was better? You can always learn from your photos. Next, try using the focus feature on your phone. Try tapping on the screen where you want to focus. Did it help your picture get clearer? After you've taken your photos, it's important to review them so that you can learn from what you've taken and so that your pictures will be easier to find and use in the future. First, it's a good idea to review your photos on the spot. Do a quick check on the spot to make sure that your photos turned out all right. If you're taking videos, make sure that the sound quality has turned out all right before moving on for the day. This step is especially important if you're outside and you'll be leaving the area. You wouldn't want to get home only to realize that you missed your shot. Once you've finished taking all of your photos and you have some time, it's a good idea to go through all of your photos and think about what worked well and what could be changed. This will help you take better photos in the future. It's also a good time to go back and delete any duplicate photos. This way, you won't have to go through endless photos to find the one that you want in the future. Another step you can take when you're reviewing your photos is doing some quick and easy edits. The most common one is cropping a photo. If there's extra space in your photo or your subjects aren't centered, you can crop the picture either on your phone or a computer. Simply drag the box so that only the part of the picture you want to keep is showing. The other easy edit you can do is cutting the length of a video. This is particularly easy on your phone. If you have a long pause at the beginning or end of your video, you can always cut it out so that your audience isn't watching dead space. If you've taken some photos recently, this activity is for you. Go through your photos now and look to see what's working and what you could change. Try to find at least one great thing and one thing that you could improve. Be sure to delete any pictures you don't want to keep. Now that we've gone through the steps to take some great photos, let's look at some tips to get in some practice for taking photos. Here's some ideas about how to practice and develop your skills. First, you should always be looking out for opportunities to practice. Practice will help you get a lot better at taking photos and videos. Think about times in your daily life that you can practice shooting, maybe on a walk, or you can take pictures of your pets, a selfie, or a video of some of your healthy exercises. Take pictures of things that you enjoy. If you like what you're photographing, you'll stay motivated to keep practicing. When practicing, you'll want to change things up a lot. There are many different ways to take a picture, so try them out and see what you like best. Shoot from up close or from far away to get some background in the shot. 
move around your object to shoot from different angles. Look at these pictures of the same bunny shot from different angles. He looks really different in both. A lot of objects will look different depending on the angle that you shoot from. So you should try a lot of different things to get the shot that you want. It's also a good idea to practice taking pictures in different lighting. Different cameras may need different amounts of light to take a good picture. So this is a great opportunity to get to know your camera and for you to learn what you need to do to get a good photo. Try it indoors during the day or at nighttime. Try it outdoors on a sunny or cloudy day. And notice how your pictures are different depending on the lighting. Practice getting clear photos. Getting a clear shot can be tricky, so explore different ways to hold the camera. What can you do to keep it the steadiest? If you're photographing moving people, it can be even trickier to get a clear shot. Practice taking these kinds of photos and see if you can avoid a blurry shot. Remember to touch on your screen if you want to focus on an object. For our next activity, think of three times you can take photos or videos today, and think of some ways that you can change up how you take the photo each time. Remember to think about different lighting, different times of the day, and try taking pictures of both objects and people. And remember to switch up the angles you shoot from. Maybe try your first time right now. For our last section, let's go through how to act naturally in photographs, because we want our pictures to represent real life, not just people posing. Lots of people get nervous in front of a camera, but it's important to remember to just relax and be yourself. Just do what you would do if there wasn't a camera. Because remember, we want to see you. If you're nervous, it helps to work with someone that you like and trust. Try to have fun with it. If you're alone, 
Try to imagine that you're with someone you really like and they're making you laugh. And if you feel like you're getting discouraged, try getting it up and shaking it off, literally. Move around a bit and try to make yourself laugh and then give it another shot. You might find that you've relaxed a little bit. When taking videos, practice what you want to shoot first. If there's something in particular that you want to say, you can practice it in a mirror first. If you want to post something publicly, but you're nervous, you can try sending your video to a friend or two first. Remember to use hand gestures and act as if you were just talking to someone in real life. That concludes this learning module. Let's do a quick recap of what we've talked about. Today we covered preparing and we talked about how you can look at your checklist to make sure that you're ready to go. Then we talked about taking photos or videos and we told you to think about what kind of photo you wanted and then to try different ways to frame it. Next we moved on to reviewing and we said that you need to be sure to go through your photos and learn what works. Next we talked about tips for practicing and essentially we said practice a lot and try lots of different things. Try to get creative with this. And then lastly, we talked about tips for acting natural. Essentially, we told you, be yourself. Pretend you're talking to someone you like. And with that, you're finished this module, athlete leaders. I hope you have a lot of fun taking photos.